what are some of the key health benefits of eating a plant-based diet? I know that uh, most of us started with the standard American diet, which clearly is not working, not working for anybody, and it wasn't working for me. I was very, very sick on a plant-based diet. I was horizontal in bed and couldn't get out of bed at age 21, and here I am, I'll be 44 in a couple weeks, and I've got more energy, more vitality than ever in my life. So what, um, what are some of the benefits of, of eating plant-based nutrition? And it will go this way this time, if that's okay. Um, and what are some of the benefits, and you know, how can we impact that in our lives? How can we make that happen in our lives? Well, something really cool happened to me a few months ago. Well, I guess it's a while ago now, but um, I made friends with Chris Carr, who's a pretty big rock star in the world, just eating good and being happy and all this stuff. And uh, I made friends with her, and she sent me a juicer in the mail, so I took it as a sign from whatever, <laughs> the Lord, to, uh, to start to start juicing. And, uh, you know, I did this and I, I immediately quit coffee without even thinking I want to quit coffee. So just having that one thing really started to do all of these amazing benefits for me on an, on an energy level, on a, you know, it affected how I thought about things, it affected my mood. All of this stuff really gets into your brain on a how you see the world all the time. So for me, it was just starting with with one thing, juicing every morning, making making a green juice and setting that up for my day. So adding that to my, starting my day with meditation. It really, you know, yoga's great, but what you're eating is your entire life. So I think I think it's really important to, to think about food as, as, as a health benefit. Fundamentally, although no one lives forever, but we're, we're talking about quality of life here. And uh, I think feeling good and having the vitality that my personal vegan diet brings to me, makes me more able to be in the world to address the things that are happening everywhere. I, I don't have to bore you with all the stats that are out there, but we have a world that's quite in trouble right now in terms of uh, water supplies and uh, the growing fields. I, I was at an event not too long ago where John Mackey from Whole Foods was presenting in a similar manner, and a woman from the audience said, uh, I was at one of your stores today and I couldn't find organic lettuce. Well, he said, well, we'll have to get people to grow more of it, you know? We are competing at Jefferson Authority on that about the growing fields themselves. I mean, it's, it's something we can't take for granted. It's something we have to sort of give back to to make sure that we are nourished in this way. And uh, whoever this might be, we can probably make this all for one giant person here, but it's a, it's a lifestyle choice is what it comes down to. And once you make the connection about how good you can feel, you don't want it any other way. Because then you can give back, you can do more, you can, you can have a, a full and rich life. From GMOs, we can look at three things, animal feeding studies, livestock experience, and human experience. The American Academy of Environmental Medicine says that the animal feeding studies show clear causal problems linked to dangers like reproductive failure, immune system problems, organ damage, accelerated aging, dysfunctional regulation of cholesterol, and insulin. When we talk to veterinarians and farmers, when they switch animals from GM feed to non-GM feed, they have more babies, they have less dead babies, they have less pneumonia, they have less antibiotic needs, their better health is immediate, and when they switch back to GMOs, the problems revert. When I speak to doctors who take patients off of GMOs, it's a variety of things, from weight problems, getting better, skin problems, migraines, irritable bowel, the full range, because the problems with GMOs are across the board. The idea that you can eat well and eat heartily and not have to worry about your weight is revolutionary. I am an obesity survivor. I spent the first 30 years of my life either miserably overweight or miserably dieting. Wouldn't want to go back there. For me, it's been almost three decades of leaving that problem behind. And I'm not looking at the diabetes and the heart disease and other problems that people in my family had to look at. This is an amazing way of life. I've worked with hundreds of women over the last 10 years to, who usually come to me about their health concerns re regarding their weight, and they all want to lose weight as the first step. But what we see when we start adding more plant-based foods into their diet is that a lot of other concerns are alleviated. And it's very exciting to me when somebody can get off of their cholesterol medication or their blood pressure medication, just taking a couple of things out of their diet, like dairy or like red meat as a first step, 
and actually improving their life. They're not having any of the side effects of their medications anymore and just adding in simple things like green vegetables. So taking a couple things out, adding some things in, and being able to get off of really life-threatening medications that are for life-threatening illnesses just with a few simple dietary steps. And that's been proven with science. I mean, we've, we've mentioned a lot of personal stories here. It's not just our anecdotal personal stories. This has all been borne out in science. Um, so the American Dietetic Association, which is the largest organization of food nutrition professionals in the country, they've looked at all these studies, they've read all the analyses of plant-based living, and they have shown, they basically say that well-planned vegetarian and vegan diets are appropriate for all stages of the life cycle. Um, now there's a little bit of controversy in the New York Times and other places about whether it's right for babies and children and pregnant women and athletes, and it is. The science says that it is, and in fact, it's better. So people are getting off their diabetes medications, they're um, getting off their Lipitor and whatever. So not only does a healthy, low-fat vegan diet treat and prevent um, you know, these horrible chronic illnesses, but it actually reverses them. It actually reverses them. So there, for example, at Cleveland Heart Clinic, um, Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn has the first ever case of reversing, actually unclogging arteries by diet. That's incredible. If the pharmaceutical companies had those, you know, stats, it would be revolution, you know, they would sell so much more of it, whatever. The point is, it, we can heal our bodies through plants. And that's why we're all here, and that's why you're here.